can hear and see the screen. Yep, we're live. Okay. Yep, we're live. Okay. Okay, guys. Now you can hear me and see me. Okay, guys. Now you can hear me and see me. But you're gonna need to mute that. I can't hear myself over and over. Oh man, that was crazy. Let's hope everybody gets back over here. Okay, man, that was so weird. So, before I get into the other stuff, so right before I went online, I was actually messaging with Keith, and I was like, I'm afraid nobody's going to show up, because that's just how I am. I, I get really nervous, and I always think that I'm going to be talking to myself the whole time. So I get on and for 10 minutes, I'm talking to myself. I'm like calling people out. I'm saying hi. Nobody's responding. And it was the weirdest thing. Say hi, Jack. Hi. You got to look at the camera over here. So thanks for sticking around and coming back over to this channel. Hopefully everybody finds it. Um, but we're going to get into some, some stuff. So, while I was talking to myself, I opened an entire box of the Fairfield over here. <laughs> Literally all to myself. It was really dumb. Um, but I'll show you what I hit. I, I hit a couple of, couple of good things. Uh, I'm just trying to send a message really quick to Dave M., So he knows. So hopefully he can head over here. Okay, so how does it sound? How does it look? Is it doing good tonight? Doing good, okay, sounds good, looks good. Pulling cards out of a pack yourself is just a different feeling. You're absolutely correct. Okay, hopefully we can get a few more people in here. So, <laughs> while I was talking to myself, I was mentioning that these look like completely normal Top Series 1 hanger boxes. However, they're not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open one up and show you guys. And then, if anybody's interested, I'll be selling them pretty cheap. Um, but I think somebody might be interested in these. Because these, yes, these are the Walgreens yellow hanger boxes. So we're going to get into that. There's some surprise that could be in here. Shet sells for like 70, 80 bucks. It's really crazy. So we got normal top series one on the front. We'll get through a lot of that pretty quick. That Acuna is nice. Um, and then we got all the inserts in the middle like normal. Oh, Ethan, you got your channel going. How'd that happen? I thought that one was deleted. We got Toro, Mondesi. Hey, sorry about that, Clay. Yeah, I had a technical issue. I was sitting here for 10 minutes talking to myself. Then I saw everybody saying, you know, where's the Wiener King? 
and I figured out that I was I was all alone. We got a Randia Rosarina. So I was telling them this is actually a Walgreens hanger box. I do have some performance anxiety today, however. <laughs> it was more about you guys not showing up than anything. <laughs> I'm used to talking to myself, just not when I expect to be talking to other people. It's a very strange feeling. Oh, look at that. That's sexy. Pete Alonzo Chrome Turkey Red. I like that. A lot. Okay. So then we have a Twins Gold card. And we're into the Walgreens Yellows. Ben Attendi. Tyler White, Matt Thice. And if you hit on these, you hit big. Rogelio Armenteros, Michael Brousseau, and Reese McGuire. I did not hit on those, but they're still worth like a buck or so a piece. We've got a Tony Gwynn, JD Martinez, Olsen, Crawford, Gallo, and Galen. Yeah. The yellows look more gold than the gold cards. That's a disappointing 85. Who likes J.D. Martinez? Right? Am I right? Blanco, Devers, Real Muto. I think CVS does carry the cards. Now I know. I'm teasing Keith because I know Keith likes him. <laughs> Bregman. You can still get some... Uh, Short prints here, hopefully in the back. Sean Doolittle. I like that guy more and more every time I see him. There's a Big Meat Pete League leaders. Got Ken Giles. I have his autographed ball over here on the bottom. That's nice. John Segura. Braves. But yeah, we'll kind of get through these pretty quick. Um... I got some Fairfield boxes that we will uh, maybe do a little bit of little bit of trivia later, but not anytime soon. We're hoping to get that uh, 2019 Heritage Minor League filled up is what we're looking for. Looking for 2019 Heritage Minor League to sell out so we can crack that up, and that's pretty sweet. I like. I don't have that card. Speaking of Big Meat Pete, I opened one of those Fairfield boxes when I was talking to myself. Got a Ken Griffey Jr. Diamond King from 1990 Donruss. I got a Chrome uh, Pete Alonzo Rookie Debut. Now, these three cards right here all came out of the same Chrome pack, which only has four cards. So I got an Alonzo Rookie Debut, Walker Bueller Cup card, and an Acuna Jr. Cup card. Not bad for a four-card pack. Hey, what's up, Corey? How you doing? Also got Altuve, 150th anniversary. So, guys, on the website right now, we have 2019 Heritage Minor League Baseball. We're looking to sell that out, and I have a coupon code for you guys. If you put in the coupon code, coupon code Big Rookies, you get two dollars per pack off. It comes down to eight dollars a pack, which is a hell of a deal. I'm doing pretty good, Corey. I had a little technical issue where I was talking to myself for 10 minutes while these guys were chatting with me and I didn't even realize it. Um, so that was fun, but got over that pretty quick and we're moving on. Uh, let's see. For that Heritage Minor League right now, guys, we are looking at... We're only, we're only looking at nine more packs. Nine more packs of the Heritage Minor League. One auto, one relic. We're talking about Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, Wander Franco, Joe Adele, uh, Tim Tebow. Um, literally every big name that you can imagine. Every one of the big young stars that you can imagine, you're going to find them in their minor league baseball uh, uniforms. Um, there are autos 
from all of the big names. I saw a Beau Bichette Buffalo Bisons triple relic. Um, Wander Franco has autos in there. A lot of different players. Uh, I believe Riley Green is in there, actually. Let me take a quick look. I'll also throw the link up that I'm going to look at um, so you guys can look at the list yourself. Because it's, it's pretty extensive. And there's a lot of good players in there. Uh, let's see, Riley Green. Control F is my friend. Nope, Riley Green is not in there. <clears throat> but Boba Shett has a few different cards. Luis Bryant's in here. Um, Keston Huira. Key Brian Hayes. Did you guys know Key Brian Hayes is the son of I didn't know that till today. Uh, let's see. O'Neill Cruz. Um, Royce Lewis. Like a lot of the same names that we've seen from Bowman. We're also seeing here. Um, Bobby Dalbeck, Wander Franco again. Wander, Wander Franco's got quite a few cards in here. Joey Bart, Alex Kirilov, Victor Victor Mesa, uh, Brendan Rogers from the Rockies, Travis Swaggerty. Literally, the list goes on and on. We got Austin Riley, Seth Beer, Dylan Cease, Luis Robert, Nick Madrigal. Thank you very much, Corey. Appreciate that. Hey, Ethan, you can take that to Discord, and that's perfectly fine, dude. In Discord, you're more than welcome to promote yourself all you would like. So, yeah, again, enter the coupon code BIGROOKIES, like Corey just did, and save yourself $2 a pack. It's down to eight dollars a pack, which is just an absolute steal on this. Hey, what's up, Joe M? How you doing? How are you feeling today, man? I know you've you've had a, a rough time of it, and I I remember last night you said your sister wasn't doing too great either. So, in the meantime, um, we got nine packs, man. We got nine packs, Clay. I personally wouldn't mind buying into a couple of them. Like, if you guys don't want them and we get super close, I'm that excited about it. Like, uh, this was a, a personal box that I, well, no, I shouldn't say a personal box, a box that I bought because of how much I like it personally. Um, so, if you guys get me close... I'll buy a couple of them. I'm sorry to hear that, Joe. I really do hope you start feeling better. So, real quick, I'm going to... TLM. TLM is a great guy. Um, he sent us so many cards. Yeah. So many things. He sent literally piles of cards for Denise. All a stack Dodgers. Of Piazza. A stack Ooh. of Piazzas. Like, great. Um, looking to, to get some stuff back to him, but I'm going to show off what, what he sent me today. He sent me a Kevin Hooper rookie from SPX, Christian Stewart. These are all tigers. You guys will like the, the pack he sent me. Another Christian Stewart. We got a sweet Miggy from optic, like what? 17, 18 optic. That's beautiful. We got another Christian Stewart rookie. We have Devin Travis. He was a prospect for the rookies or the Tigers at one point. And then a Dean Palmer bat relic. That is a chrome pack back there. In fact, both of them have chrome packs in them. Both 
those boxes are so fun to open. And I opened one just a little bit ago, and three of the four cards were these. I pulled these out of the Chrome Packs while I was talking to myself. An Acuna, a Walker Bueller, and a Pete Alonzo rookie card. Joe, do you got the Chrome version of that? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Joe, let me know if you got the Chrome version of that or not. So, TLM also sent me all something else. Very cool. I'm going to show you guys. I hope you can see this. <laughs> it says CCB, stress reliever on camera. Well, what's up, Wicked? How you doing? Hey, Wicked. And as far as I can tell, I haven't actually looked through it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an enormous Blake Snell collection. <laughs> it is all Blake Snells. That's hilarious. My burn pile just tripled or even quadrupled in size oh blake snell holiday blake snell fire we got a blake snell big league oh national card day blake snell opening day wow that might even be a numbered one no it's just light blake snell donner they're all the same picture look at that So yeah. yeah, 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 pretty sure that that's what he means. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure that that's exactly what he means, is that these are to uh, relieve any stress I have on camera. <laughs> the Gypsy Queen would be a nice, that one right there? That's the a nice rip right there, Alex, is that what you're saying? Joe, you do not have... The Pete Alonzo Chrome Rookie Debut. I will send that out to you. You can put that with Joe's stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in the garage for a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, Blake. Oh, Blake. I'm, I'm not sorry. I am not sorry at all, dude. Somebody is getting an enormous, enormous envelope full of Blake Snell puzzle pieces which I've gotten from other people now. <laughs> it, it it's a it felt good. It felt good like it it rips easy. It's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and there goes all my viewers. <laughs> Everybody's like this dude's ripping watching them. Oh, that looks good, babe. Okay. We will we will do that over time. That will be something that will sit back there, and anytime we need a little bit of stress relief, we will take care of that. I will listen to you in the garage. Kid, I have not gotten your package yet. I haven't been getting much mail le lately at all. Okay. So... Well, you guys are getting your wallets out and getting ready to buy some 2019 Heritage. We did just get another order there. Oh, Corey bought two more packs. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, while we do that, I do have some cards that we can sell in the meantime. Uh, we only have seven packs left of the Heritage. We could do a quick card sale um, until we get that down to at least a couple and then I'll like I said I'll take them I'm not scared yep seven packs left weird at seven but I do got some nice stuff let me get through a lot of this got some stuff that you guys might like let me know won't dwell too much on this I got my buddy Jack with me here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get a fresh page. So, 
first things first. So the way that this is going to work is I will show a card on the screen, tell you the price, you say their name and sold in the chat, and it will be yours. So first up is a 1985 retro Fernando Tatis Jr. for $3. We got $3 on a Tatis Jr. I gotta just tear this page out that has some prices listed on it. Very nice, thank you, Clay. I do appreciate that. Next up, also for $3, we have a Blue Garrett Cole, 1985. This is not numbered, strangely enough, but it is a Blue Garrett Cole, 1985 retro card. Again, just say their name and sold in the chat. Uh, we have a Luis Robert Prospect Mojo. Five bucks. Five bucks on the Luis, Pro Luis Robert Prospect Mojo. That's a lot cheaper than eBay right now. Robert sold? Yeah, that's a nice one. That is a nice one right there. So yeah, I tried to, I looked all of these up on eBay and tried to price them below eBay, below what you could pick them up anywhere else. Give you guys a good deal. Because I'm not going to hold on to a lot of these. So we have a Tim Kate from the Nationals. This is out of 25, if you can see that. It is number 20 out of 25, so it's a Tim Kate orange. And this one was also $5. $5 for Tim Kate out of 25. Okay, the rest of these mojos are all just two bucks. Every one of them is just two bucks. We got a Christian Posh. Two bucks. Hey, if you like it, sports kids, go ahead and just say his name and sold. It's only five bucks. That's a that's a good deal for a numbered orange mojo. Gunnar Henderson, two bucks. CJ Abrams, two bucks. The, the Pash, Pache, however you say that name. Okay. Ryan sold. There's no Ryan. CJ Abrams. Ah. Oh. CJ Abrams, two bucks. Adbert Alzale, Rookie of the Year favorites for two. We got Ronnie Mauricio. Mojo for two bucks. We have a Tim Kate, not out of 25, for two bucks. Matthew Liberatore and Christian Javier. All of those mojos are only two dollars there. Okay, and then these chromes are the same. We are also doing these for two dollars. We have a Mike Yastrzemski chrome. Michael Chavez, rookie debut. I've told you guys how much I like that card before. And then numbered out of 50 for only $2 is a Ryan Helsley rookie card. Numbered out of 50. Okay. Also going for $2 a piece. Big Meat Pete, all-star game rookie card. An Alonzo Home Run Derby rookie card. All of these are just two bucks. And an Alonzo rookie debut. 
After that, we have an Austin Riley rookie, 150 year stamp, also for $2. Nobody on any of those? Yeah, he probably would. I wish Mike was here. Because next up, we got the big rookie. We got Luis Robert Orange out of Big League. These are listed for $40 on eBay. Nobody's bought them yet. I think that's ridiculous. I'll sell one right now for 10 bucks. I think that's about where it's going to settle in. Somebody wants an orange Luis Robert from Big League. I'd do it for 10 bucks instead of the crazy $40 price that's on eBay right now. Robert sold. Very nice. Okay, then only the real, the real, the only real thing that I have left other than that for card sales is some Topps Big League if you guys are interested. Um, a whole bunch of them for a buck. And only a couple of them for more than that. So let's start with the couple of them that are more than that. No, I didn't. Let me, two Alonzo for three bucks. Yeah, we can do that. Which two do you want? Rookie debut, home run derby, all-star game. Let me know which of those you want. Two to the right. Rookie debut and the home run derby. Sounds good, man. Okay. Next up, we have these two cards from Big League, we got Bo Bichette and Gavin Lux, $3 each. $3 each. No, we're not doing auctions today, Ethan. So, Bo Bichette or Gavin Lux, either one of them for $3 each. Uh, let's see, all of the rest of the Big, League's, big League cards. Oh, Bo is sold. Okay, thanks, Heath. Anybody on that Lux? Okay. And then we got a whole stack of $1 big league cards. But guys, don't forget, we're getting super close to this. We only got seven spots left. No, we don't even have seven. Clay bought some. And I didn't refresh. Let me look it up. We only have four spots left in Heritage Minor League. Four spots left, guys. They are $10 a pack. You put in the coupon code BIGROOKIES right here. And you can get them for $8 a pack. If somebody even buys two, I'll take the other two. I really would have no problem at all digging into that box with you guys. Okay, all of these big league cards are a buck. Every single one of them. Just tell me the name and sold in the chat. We got Tatis Jr. Tatis flipping out. Defensive Wizards. Vlad Jr. Highlights. Vlad flipping out. Vlad Base. We got Big Meat Pete in a tuxedo. 
Sweet tuxedo, too. Won the Jackie Robinson Award. Very nice. Aaron Judge flipping out. We have Trout, Nelly Cruz, and Bregman. Right? Yep. We have a Mike Trout base. Again, these are all just a buck. We got Juan Soto. An Aquino Highlights rookie card. Jordan Alvarez award winner rookie card. And two of his caricature cards, both with the rookie card insignia. Y'all good on big league, apparently. Works. Okay, guys. We are only four packs away from 2019 Heritage Minor League Baseball Pack Break. Who else wants to get in on a couple of packs at least? It's only eight bucks, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting the list ready, um, which is pretty much going to be Corey and Clay and me. Oh, there we go. Sounds good. Last chance for anybody else to get in. Literally the last chance. Or I'm going to take them off the, the website. And we're going to crack that box. Uh, there's just two left, Corey. I'm more than willing to take them for myself. If you want them, you can have them too. Personally, I think it's going to be an extremely fun box to open. Sounds good. I'll take them, man. They are gone. Okay, did Dave M make it back over here? I sent him a message letting him know that we uh, had to switch streams. I don't know if he made it back over here, though. Okay, let me get these set up really quickly. So I know Dave bought into some of them. Got to check out who else did. Now get the randomizer and everything else set up, and we'll be good to go here in just a second. We'll make it pretty damn quick. Okay. Oh, let me do this, by the way, Clay. There you go. Clay, if you want to drop the link to your channel and tell people what you're doing with Big League and all the other stuff, go right ahead. Trying to make sure I got all the packs taken care of here.
I didn't. I am missing somebody's packs. But we'll get it though. There we go. See that Dave is in for nine total. That's all the packs right there. Very good. Hey, how's it going, Eric? How's it going, Carter? Thanks for coming by, guys. We are just about to break into 2019 minor league, uh, Heritage Minor League Baseball there. Dave, another message over here. Give him a chance to get on. Hey, how's it going, Sean? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, good evening so far. Uh, in the Donruss, Ethan, we have... Let me take a look. Quite a few. Quite a few. Um, looks like 16, so we're about a third of the way on the 2019 Donruss. Which ain't too bad. Now that's a cheap break. That's only five bucks a pack. <clears throat> a pack. There's three autos or relics in there. Um, 24 total packs, which is awesome. Okay. How many packs? How many autos? Three pack or 24 packs. Three autos or memorabilia cards per box on average. So all we're doing right now is we're waiting for Clay to come back. Fairfield Blasters, yes. I found a couple of these. I haven't really considered selling them. If you made me a fair deal. We could do that. They both have 2019 Topps Chrome Update Packs on the front. So you know at least one pack is really good. I'll show you what I, I opened one earlier. I got, out of four cards, I got a Walker Bueller, a Ronald Acuna Jr., and a Pete Alonzo uh, rookie debut that I'm sending off to Joe Mansman. So yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to swap out the, the Babe Ruth packs with? <laughs> Yeah, another junk. You like those Babe Ruth packs, Corey? I'm trying to find my stack of them. I have like 15 or 20 of them somewhere. Oh, fair price for Fairfield. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything to swap them out with. I'm looking around. I'm, I am tapped out.
Okay, sorry. Oh, Went out a little bit there. No, nope, go ahead and say uh, hi to everybody, babe. Hey. Let's look at our mugs. Waiting for Clay to come back really quick. Hi, guys. How are you? I, I don't know which way to look at her. Anyway, I'm yeah. going to go. I'm okay. having fun with my new scroll saw. Um, Carter, I would actually, what I had in my last pack was the Topps Chrome 219 Series 1, um, 1990 Donruss, what else was it? Oh, a 2019 Heritage and a 2019 Allen and Ginter. Noah, where'd you put that mask? Well, thank you, Keith. Yeah, so, I mean, you're not too far off. Yeah, and then the two Babe Ruth packs. So, okay, Clay is good to go. Um, also, guys, I was talking earlier before some of you guys showed up. These are not regular hanger boxes. Um, these are Walgreens hanger boxes. So what you get out of those that are different, let me find them right here, is you get a shot at the Walgreen yellow versions. If anybody is so inclined, you can go look online and find a yellow Bo Bichette selling for 80 bucks. Hell, the yellow Mike Trout sells for 20 still. Um, I even saw Kyle Lewis selling for 12 bucks. Um, I would sell either of these for 20 bucks. I mean, it's a little, little markup, but shipped, that's not bad. And you got the chance to to pull something really nice. Hey Dave, yep, we're doing the Heritage right now. Awesome, I'm glad you showed up and Clay is back. We're gonna go ahead and tear into this. Um, we're gonna get the randomizer pulled up. I already got everybody's names loaded in here. We're just gonna ask the Google box for a number between one and six, not nine. And it says four, so we're going to randomize four times, because Google told us to. There's one, two, three, and four. There is the order that I'll be opening the packs. I'll be going first, and then everybody's kind of sprinkled in there. If you all want to write down what numbers you, you are, take a minute to do that. And then I'll be calling out the number and the name of each pack while we go. Okay, going back to this. Very good. Let's get this going. I don't know how these are laid out in the box, but I'm basically gonna go top to bottom, left to right, however they're laid out. Got Wander Franco right there on the front in his bowling green uniform. Ooh, I didn't even know it came with a box loader. We will set that to the side. Figure out what to do with that. So yeah, we're just gonna go top to bottom, left to right. Oh, uh. Well, shit, what did I do? Hold on, I might have to redo this, because you're right, I only had 17 names in there. Let me figure out who I fucked up on. Four. Yeah, it was Clay. Clay, I only put you in there four times, not five times. You okay with just taking pack number 18? Yeah, just let me know if you're okay with pack number 18 real quick, Clay. Hey, how's it going, Wayne? Oh, uh, no, I get it, Carter. It's, it's okay. Things are going good. Might do a little bit more trivia tonight. I'm thinking maybe pop open one of those Fairfield boxes if somebody doesn't uh, buy them and give away some of the cards in there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pull up the list here so I can see it. So the first pack is me. 
I'm going to be pack one and four and then get out of the way and let you guys have all the Okay, Tristan Casas. Garrett Whitlock. Yosneel Diaz. These are cool looking with the base ox. Isaiah Gilliam with the tarpons. You know, I don't think it'd be possible, but it would be fun to do a team break on these. Blue Rocks. Kyle Isabel. For the Tulsa Drillers, we've got DJ Peters. Here's Seth Beer for the Woodpeckers. And Franklin Perez. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god. Luis Robert Otto. I'm going crazy. I'm going nuts. So this is pack number two. This is Dave M. If you guys haven't had a chance to chat with Dave M, hop on Discord, say hi to him. Really nice guy. I've had a chance to get to know him a little bit, and, and it's it's definitely been a very pleasant experience. We got Chad Spanberger with the Fisher Cats. Osvaldo Duarte. Bryce Terang. Mitch Keller. Brock Burke. Mitchell White. Bobby Dalbeck for the Sea Dogs, now for the Red Sox. And Mackenzie Gore for the Storm, plays for the Padres now. Very nice. Uh, I guess I got to get some parking lots set up so I know where to put the cards. Hey, how's it going, TLM? Look back there in the right. We already took care of one of them. We have my stress relievers sitting right here, buddy. Thank you so much for that. And there is a pile over here. A little teeny tiny bits of Blake Snell already. I do appreciate that. <laughs> no, no sea dogs, sea dogs. Okay, so those went to Dave. Oh boy. Uh, we did a little bit of sales. We might do some more later since we've got a few more people. I got a Nick Senzel orange that I know you'll like. This is pack number three for Dave M. Also. Yeah, we didn't do much. We did a little bit, but we do got more. We always got more. So for Dave M, we got Vidal Brujan. I think he's with Tampa Bay now. Oh, there's Bo Bichette down there. New Hampshire Fisher Cats. I know he has another card on the uh, Buffalo Bisons. Because of all the alliteration. Bo Bichette on the Buffalo Bisons. I'm sure they had a ton of fun with that. Adam Hazley. Saw him a little earlier. Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez, fresh on the scene. Okay, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. We got Spencer Howard, Brock Deathrage. Deathridge? I don't know. Cool name either way for the Flying Tigers. Lakeland Flying Tigers. MJ Melendez and Brandon Marsh. Not too bad. Okay, pack number four is mine. Then we'll go back to Dave, and then Corey and Clay get in on the action. Pretty cool. I like seeing what's coming sometimes. Okay, Brian Hayes. I was saying earlier, did you guys know that this is Charlie Hayes' son from the Rockies? I didn't know that until today. Well, that's his boy. Jesus Lazardo, the Jesus Lizard, with the Nashville Sounds. Very nice. I like that one. We got Dean Kramer, Tyler Widener, and Connor Menez. Christian Javier. Um, Woodpeckers, I believe he's the Astros now. Dustin May for the Tulsa Drillers. We know him. He's with the LA Dodgers. Oh, there we go. Got a Wander Franco. That's pretty nice. Not the Wander Franco auto. 
but did get a Wander Franco right there. Grayson Rodriguez and another Wander Franco, the Sporting News one. Cool, I'm good with that. I'll take a May and two Francos in a pack. I'm happy to leave the auto or the relic for you guys. More than happy to do that. I was actually a little scared of pulling the auto or the relic out of one of my packs. Not what I was looking for. Okay, so this is pack number five. This is Dave M. Dave M is also a Detroit fan. He's from Michigan. So definitely got some uh, things we touched base about. Yeah, auto is in the sixth pack. Logan Allen, Alec Bohm. Kevin Smith with the Fisher Cats. There's a Tim Tebow. Very nice. Tim Tebow, fantastic feats. Uh, okay, his OPS went up. From bad to not that bad, actually. It was like 800. Aramis Adaman, Leonardo Jimenez for the uh, Gulf Coast League Blue Jays, and Alex Scherf. Alex Scherf. It would be nuts if I pulled a Wander auto. I don't even know what I'd do, man. Luis Robert, Wander, any of those. I have to take a quick second and just realize that I was a little bit low on sleeves. I want to get another pack out real quick. Get my top loaders over here for you guys. Okay. This is pack six. Corey says this is where the auto is. This is his pack, Corey's pack. Could be. If it's not in six, it's in 11, right? There we go. Alex Kirilov playing for the Twins now. Um, I believe they are, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure if there's any of those. I will, uh, I think this is still the, the right link. Nope, it's not. Let me throw up a real quick link for you guys. Uh, this should... Where the hell did that go? There it is. Sorry, being dumb. This gives a list of all the cards that are in the set from Cardboard Connection. So we've got Christian Robinson, Braylon Marquez with the South Bend Cubs, Mateo Gill. we got a uh, Brian Hayes, Indianapolis Indians. Matt Manning plays for the Tigers now. Bo Burrows and Luis Garcia. Okay, so hoping that that auto it's going to drop down to the 11th spot for Corey. Well, Corey's hoping that. I'm good with any of you guys getting it. Okay, pack number seven goes to Clay. Pack number seven goes to Clay. In fact, Clay has seven and eight. We have Roberto Ramos. Clark Schmidt. Well-timed picture there. Very nice. Owen Miller for the Sod Poodles. Sod Poodles. Whatever a Sod Poodle is. Jonathan India. Daytona Tortugas. There's a team called the Tortugas. Did all the Ostadios play for that that team? We got Gage Canning. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez with the Express. The Fresno Express. That's one of the ones we're looking for there. Very nice. And that is going to Clay. And then we have Corey Ray. And Peter Lambert. Well, 
Was he on the Dodgers at some point? I don't actually know his history. Okay, pack eight for Clay. Card number on Alvarez. 59. 59 on that. We've got a familiar name there. There's AJ Puck with the Rock Hounds. Jordan Adams plays for the, or he's uh, in the Angels system. Andres Jimenez. Nice eye black, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, that is a sweet hit. If you can't get an auto, that's what you want right there. A Boba Shet relic out of 25, guys. Holy shit, that's a good one. Wow, Boba Shet for the Buffalo Bisons out of 25. And that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that one. Okay. Woo. Damn, I got to take a look at that again. Didn't even look at the back. Wow. Very, very nice. That's, that's weird. I put that picture up when I was promoting this box. I put up that exact picture of a Boba Shet relic just like that. Okay, Kyle Funkhauser, Aaron Savali plays for the Indians now. Jose Devers, cousin of Rafael Devers. Oof. Very nice. Very nice. Jordan and then Bo right after that. Okay, we're going to pack number nine. This is Dave M. Dave M. Uh, that's the big hit. We've hit Jordan Alvarez. We hit a... Let's see, a uh, Tim Tebow insert. Um, we have something different in here. I don't even know what that is. Uh, we've had a lot of good names already. That's the that's the big one. Cal Mitchell, Nick Madrigal for the White Sox, Davey Garcia for the Yankees. Oh, that's our auto. That's our auto right there. Yep, yeah, give me. Hey, hey, what's up, Silent? How you doing? Yeah, give me just a second. I'll show you the, the other ones. We got Khalil Lee. Is it a redemption? I think it is. Oof. Holy shit. I'm shaking just a little bit here. Jonathan Ornelas. Is it nothing? Oh. What is this? What the actual hell is that? I am so sorry, Dave. I got you all worked up. And it's a stupid insert. I've never opened this before. I, I had no idea. That sucked. Yeah, really. Super random. Right? Okay, pack 10. We're back to Clay. Oh, right. Silent. You wanted to see... What did you want to see? Damn, that went, yeah, that was fucking stupid. Tim Tebow. Let me see on the Tebow real quick. Yeah, the Tebow was fun. I know he's not a big name. He'll never be a big name, but... I mean, it's Tim Tebow. And that one went to Dave M. There you go. Okay. This pack is also for... Uh, shit. I got me all off track. So this is pack 10. This is going to Clay. The next one's going to Corey. Very good. We got Brent Honeywell. Matthew Liberatore for the Rays. Anderson Tejada. Kyle Lewis. 
Kyle Lewis. Uh, we got okay. This one definitely looks like it's turned around card. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. If if it's another damn ad, I'm gonna be upset. Domingo Acevedo, Sixto Sanchez, Alex Fado, and okay, okay, it's something. It's a Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. Nolan Gorman out of fifty. Very nice. Okay, not the auto, but we're definitely looking at a nice card there. Nolan Gorman Black. That's a good one. So it stays alive for you, Corey. You still got a chance in pack 11 there. Pack 11 might just be the one. Is this why they're called bangers? I was wondering that today. Because they're good enough to go into the top loaders and you bang them on the, the table. That's my guess. Okay, there we go. That goes to Clay. Pack number 11 for Corey. Yeah, numbered is always good. Out of 60 is really good. It was numbered out of like 299 and it was flipped over upside down. That would have been a little, little more disappointing. We got Kyle Muller, Anthony Siegler, Leo Di Tavares. We got El Hirius Montero for the Cardinals. Brewer Hicklin. Michael King. D.L. Hall. Uh, I think the Orioles there. And then... Whatever the hell that name is. Shh. Some, somebody Newton. Somebody Newton. Said the same thing about Shaquille when he started. Now everybody knows how to say it. Oh, Red Ink Joe Adele. That'd be sick. Okay, the next five packs are all Dave M and then two for Clay. Yeah, sorry, Corey. Sorry about that. Rylan Bannon. I think you're only off by one pack because I see something there. Oh, that might not be an auto, but Eric Pardino for the Blue Jays. Swaggerty for the Pirates. Oh, that's a nice one. Tulsa Drillers, Gavin Lux. Tulsa Drillers, Gavin Lux. Very nice, Dave. Okay, Ryan McKenna. I don't know. Holy crap, out of 15. Ryan McKenna out of 15. Dang. That is nice. Darian Cruz. Sean something and Evan White. Evan White. Is that is that considered a gold border there? Okay. <coughs> Very good. Yeah, really, why? I think, uh, who was it that said it's Sports Kids? It was probably closer. That's a wood parallel. It's a horrible color on it, especially to call it gold. Corey, Corey Heitler? I hope that's Heitler. Jonathan Hernandez. Anthony K for the Blue Jays. Lazaro Armenteros. I think the Astros, maybe. Andrew Neiser, Connor Pilkington with the dash, Abraham Toro. Finally, a picture that does not look the same. I've seen five different cards that look exactly the same for him with the hooks. Corpus Christi hooks and Jose Suarez with the bees. The Salt Lake bees. Not bad. Okay, Brian Campusano, Miguel Amaya, I think the Cubs, 
Casey Golden, Nolan Gorman, Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays, Forrest Whitley, Vince Fernandez, and Hansel Moreno for the St. Lucie Mets. Two more packs for Dave and then two for Clay. We did pull a Tebow insert earlier. Um, for Dave M. Zach Collins with the White Sox. Izzy Wilson. We have a Jared Kellenick, Sporting News. Dean Kramer. Kevin Biscio for the Bisons. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then a Vidal Brujan right behind him. Heard a lot of people say good things about him. Gabriel Cancel and William Contreras for the Fire Frogs. The Fire Frogs. Okay, last pack mojo for you, Dave. Let's see if we get you an auto. If not, it's going to Clay. Uh, we got something. There's something colorful in there. Brendan McKay, good pitcher for the Rays. We got Matt Mercer. Cal Raleigh. Brian Abreu. Nate Pearson. Dalton Varsho. Yep, says second. Okay, so I was right. I was asking if he was the son of, uh, I think Gary Varsho is his name. Guess so. Ryan McKenna. That was who we got the wood version of. And then the blue is Bryce Terang. Bryce Terang out of 99. 97 out of 99 for the Arizona League Brewers. It is actually somebody I have heard of. I am very happy about that. Bryce Terang for the Brewers out of 99. Very nice. Well, you got a couple more packs, but we'll throw that up there for a minute. A blue auto is always nice. Any auto is nice. A numbered auto is great. Okay, two packs for Clay. Let's see if we can get him some, some fire on these last two packs. Daz Cameron for the Tigers. We got something there. Probably another stupid insert. Ryan Montcastle. Estuary Ruiz. It is. How dumb. Mackenzie Gore. Albert Abreu. Keegan Thompson and Ali Sanchez for the Rumble Ponies. I'd play for the Rumble Ponies. That's a badass name. Yeah, the auto kind of blends in a little bit on there, but in person at least, it's pretty clear. Ryan Weathers, Connor Capel, Pedro Castellanos. We have a Tristan Pompey, Jamai Jones. We have Bobby Dalbeck. Recognize that name. There's a Joey Bart. Joey Bart's a nice one. And then James Marvel, Michael King, and Rico Garcia. We didn't see a lot of the big rookies there. I shouldn't say that. We saw a real big rookie there. We did see a Jordan. We saw a Gavin Lux. We saw Wander Franco. We saw Tim Tebow. Dave got a black Nolan Gorman and a Bryce Terang. He also got that wood colored card. This one right here goes to Clay. I don't have a thicker sleeve right now. I'll find it before I ship it out to you, buddy. But that was fun. I liked that. I like that. That was good stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the box loader. Yeah, Blake Snell's over there in quarantine by himself. He doesn't deserve to hang out with the other cards.
We've seen a lot of this dude. Okay. We have a Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman from the Chiefs. The Peoria Chiefs. Not bad. We probably will do that as a giveaway at some point. Probably what I'll do there is give that away at some point. Yeah, he wants to see his friends. Oh, see? I went and hurt Nolan Gorman by putting him too close, man. What the heck? Okay, thank you very much, guys. That was a lot of fun. What would you guys think of that box? And I know Corey wanted to see more hits for him. But what did the rest of you guys think as far as the hits we pulled and everything else? Yeah, that's what I always thought. I always thought the minor league uniforms would be awesome. If you guys liked that and more people wanted to get in on it, um, there was also a 2018 Heritage Minor League. And I think the guy also had a 16 or a 17, one of the two. So there's definitely some, uh, some other options there. So, yeah, I don't know how you wouldn't like that out of 25, man. That was gorgeous. That was a gorgeous card there. Okay, let me take a look around really quick. To the hill. There it is. Okay, I had to find my list again. Toss it off to the side. We'll go through some cards really quick. I got some that I could definitely sell, without a doubt. Um, gonna try and stay away from Bowman. So I know that we've sold a lot of Bowman, but we do have some Mojo Refractors. Gorman cards are on the rise, that's good. Because we pulled his base, we pulled a black, and then that box topper. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready for a few more card sales? While we are doing this, I want to remind you guys, these are not on the website. You'll have to just let me know. These are the Walgreens hanger boxes. I will sell them for 20 bucks and rip them open shipped. Um, we got all kinds of the Walgreens yellows in them. If you get a good hit, which I didn't in the one I opened, but if you get a good one, and we're talking anywhere from twenty to eighty dollars, like Bo Bichette yellow is eighty bucks on eBay right now, sold. Um, Jordan Alvarez goes for like seventy-five, um, all the way down to like a Mike Trout going for twenty bucks. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. You can PayPal me twenty bucks um, at the paypal address on the screen and we'll get we'll rip those um i know carter was interested in the fairfield boxes if somebody else is interested in the fairfield boxes they both have 2019 chrome update packs in the front which i pulled a pete alonzo rookie debut a walker bueller cup card and an acuna jr cup card all three of those out of one chrome update pack uh, so you can get some really good hits out of those. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and do some cheap card sales. I'll tell you the price. If you like the player, say sold in the chat. And I will write your name down. We'll settle up by PayPal at the end. Nice and simple. So for instance, if you want a Aloy Jimenez Gypsy Queen for $1, you would just say... Jimenez or Aloy sold in the chat. 
So, anybody want to Aloy Jimenez for one dollar? We have Kevin Biggio, Gypsy Queen, also one dollar. We have a no name, Travis Darno, one dollar. Sold on the Eloy. Very good. Okay, a no name Travis Darno for one dollar. Okay, moving up to three dollars, we have Bo Bichette, Gypsy Queen rookie card, three dollars. Still a great price. Sold on the Bo. Okay, also at three dollars, we have Jordan Alvarez, and I have two of those. If more than one person wants them, three dollars each for a Jordan Alvarez Gypsy Queen. And also at three dollars, Gavin Lux, Gavin Lux Gypsy Queen. <laughs> Which one, Carter? The Lux or the Alvarez? Or both. Jordan? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Bogo down there. Okay, next up. Four. Oh, right. These are all two bucks. Let me make sure I'm right on that. Yep. So the next set of cards are all two dollars each. First up is an Austin Riley 150th anniversary rookie card. Two bucks. We have Ryan Helsley. Gold Tops Chrome out of 50. For two bucks. Number nine out of 50 for only two bucks on that. Sold on which one? Go ahead and put the, the player's last name for me. The Riley? Riley 150. Very nice. Okay, anybody on the Helsley out of 50? Next up, we have a Chrome Michael Chavez rookie debut, also for two for two dollars. Good looking card. Like I said, these are all all of these Chromes are two bucks. Mike Yastrzemski rookie card, two bucks. Now we got some Bo Bowman Mojos, Christian Javier. Liberatore, all for two bucks. We have Tim Kate. Ronnie Mauricio. And Adbert Alzale, Rookie of the Year favorites. CJ Abrams. And Gunnar Henderson. Okay, and then we got about three more cards here. The next one goes for five dollars. It is out of twenty-five. Tim Kate, Bo Bowman Mojo, orange out of twenty-five. It's really hard to make it so I can show you that. But it's number twenty out of twenty-five. Hey, how's how's it going, Peds? How you doing tonight? Okay, the next two are three dollars each. First is a blue Garrett Cole. A blue Garrett Cole, 1985. Then also at three dollars is a nineteen eighty-five Fernando Tatis. Fernando Tatis Jr. Okay. 
Okay. Couple more here. Sold on the Tatis. Okay. Okay, next up for $2, we have a foil Randy Arozarena rookie card. A foil Arozarena rookie card for two bucks. Make sure I'm pulling all of them out of the pile. Yeah, I am. Also for $2, we have a gold Dylan Cease out of 2020. A gold Dylan Cease out of 2020. For two dollars, let me make sure I got the prices right here. Yeah, for two dollars we have a Nick Senzel orange out of the 2020 big league set. An orange parallel of Nick Senzel. Also for two we have an orange parallel of Jacob Degrom. Next up, we have an autograph from Big League. It is Hunter Harvey. This is going to be $5 for a Hunter Harvey rookie card auto. Only $5. Senzel sold. Very good. We have a blue highlights of Ronald Acuna Jr. And that is also $2. $2 for an Acuna Jr. Blue highlights. And then finally, out of 100, we have a Chrome Rowdy Telez. Number two out of 100. Acuna sold to Heath. Okay. We got that Rowdy Telez. Is the blue numbered? No, the blues are not numbered. They are the blaster box. Um, they come in, a, I think, a four card or a five card pack, and the blaster box is a big league. And then Rowdy Telez for five bucks for that chrome if anybody's interested. Okay. Give me one second here. Thought I had the other ones right here. Oh, they're almost literally in front of my face. Okay, guys. Got a few others here. Let me take a look really quickly here. Where's mom? Um, she went to the store. Okay. Next up for three dollars. Fernando Tatis, rookie debut. Tatis Jr. rookie debut for three bucks. Um, the Don Russ is a third of the way sold. We've sold eight packs out of 24. And they are at five dollars a pack. <clears throat> I would love to tear into that tonight. 
Okay, so rookie debut, Fernando Tatis. Also for $3, we have a silver pack, Eloy Jimenez. 1984 retro silver pack, Eloy Jimenez. Uh, three autos or memorabilia. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Carter is sold on that Eloy silver pack. Very nice. I'll catch up on this really quick. See, my problem is when my wife goes away, I get a tiny bit disorganized. So I had to take an extra second and make sure that I stay organized. Okay. Also for three dollars we have an Austin Riley silver pack. Austin Riley rookie card silver pack right there. For two dollars we have a Chrome Luis Urias 1984 rookie card. <clears throat> For only two dollars, Luis Urias rookie card, '84 style. We have more of the Big Meat Pete rookie cards. We have his All Star Game and his Home Run Derby one. Two dollars a piece on these. Sold on the Urias. Very nice. So either of those big meat peats for two bucks. Um, for four dollars each, we have the Pete Alonzo unparalleled rookie card, which a lot of you might not have seen for four dollars. And then we also have the from Panini Status, also for four dollars. Pete Alonzo, both rookie cards from last year. 86 what oh yeah yeah the 86 ones are gonna look weird anybody in on those big meat peats there okay for two dollars each <clears throat> we have keston keston rookie card for two bucks kevin biggio or a biggio rookie debut all three of those are only two dollars And otherwise, we'll go back into the box. Biggio base. Okay, let me show that Keston again, too. So there's the Biggio base. And then there's the custom wear off for two bucks. You want that one? Awesome. And I knew I was leaving something out. Just didn't grab them with the rest of the stack. We're gonna go five dollars each on them. We got a couple of base Vladdy Jr. rookie cards for five dollars each if anybody wants those. And let's see what else I got in here. Okay. Sold on the Vlad Carter. Anybody want the other one? Anybody want the other Vlad Jr. rookie? Five bucks. Okay. 
Okay, this is also for five dollars. It is numbered out of one ninety nine. Number six out of one ninety nine. It is a red select Nico Horner. Nico Horner red select rookie card for only five bucks. About the Nico, very cool. I think it looks great with the Cubs colors and everything. And give me one quick second here. Oh, See, sometimes they get separated in my box a little bit. I do have a couple others from 2019 update. Um, I got some color from Bowman. And uh, some retro from Bowman. I'm not going to go through a whole lot of Bowman tonight. I think we've all seen a ton of Bowman. But got some nice ones. Okay, we have both of these. I'll do them each for two bucks. An Aloy Jimenez rookie debut, 150 year stamp, and a Mike Soroka all star game, also 150 year stamp. Two bucks each. We have a Vlad Jr. home run derby for two bucks. Oh, yeah, we're not, we're not done yet. I was just pulling more out. I got like a box sold on the Eloy going to Eric. Thank you, Eric. So yeah, we had the Vlad Jr. Home Run Derby and the Soroka 150 year Soroka sold to Mike Heath. Okay. He is a future Cy Young Award winner, I think. I think that's pretty fair. How about a Nick Senzel rookie card for two bucks? Nick Senzel with the Reds. And we'll get into just a few of the Bowmans. Like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot of Bowmans because I think we've all seen a ton of them. Get a Soroka rookie SP, that's nice. That'd be very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have two of them ordered, but they haven't come in yet. Um, my distributor is not a baseball card distributor, or not a baseball card shop. So, it's really hard for him to get stuff. Like, I have almost never actually gotten anything out of him, but he's trying like hell. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he's going to be a Cy Young Award winner too. Okay, we got five more cards in this. Um, we do also have the 2019 Donruss. We're only 16 packs away from this. That is $5 a pack. That's 80 bucks. 80 bucks if somebody is looking to get into some 2019 Donruss. Three autographs or memorabilia cards, 24 packs. Uh, we got about a third of it sold. Go pretty quick. Um, from Bowman, we have a blue parallel out of four ninety nine of Logan Allen, a Logan Allen rookie card, blue parallel for two for two dollars. Um, for five dollars, we have out of seventy five a yellow Christian Robinson. For five dollars, I'm Christian Robinson. Out of 75. 
And then the last three I will do for two bucks each. We have Jesus Lizard, 1990 Retro Rookie. Spencer Howard with the Phillies. And Mackenzie Gore with the Padres, each for two bucks. Two buck chucks. Okay, guys. Let's see, that was a, a fun minor league break. Um, I'm ready to break Donruss or the 2020 Walgreens hangers, uh, if you guys want. The, the Walgreens hanger boxes are 20 bucks a piece. Um, if anybody's interested in the Fairfield boxes, you can do that. Um, the Robert Mojos. Didn't we just sell one tonight? I think we just sold the Luis Robert Mojo earlier tonight. Like that. Front and back. We got the front there. And an upside down back there. Well, it won't focus on that front facing camera. There we go. BCP 150, I think, is what you're looking for. Yeah, good deal, too. What was it, five bucks? Not bad at all. Uh, the Fairfield box, make me a deal. Make me an offer, Heath. They have 2019 Tops Chrome updates on the front, both of them. I would love to open one up for you. For any, any of you guys. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice one, Keith. It's a good card. Mike Keith, what do you think is fair for that Fairfield box? I paid more than that. dollars for a Fairfield. Not crazy. I, if you guys want to make me a deal on them, I paid eighteen dollars for them. Got to ship them out to you. Tell me what you want. I'll open them. We can either do that or we can. Uh... Yeah, they they sell for eighteen in Target all day long. I went to Target today and I saw probably twenty of them. I don't care about making money off of those. I want to see what's in them. If you guys look at a lot of the stuff I sell, I don't, after shipping, I, I don't make a whole lot of money. I really just have a hell of a good time doing this with you guys. Yeah, give me one second here, Carter. I can add that up for you. <clears throat> Uh, it is $29. I got, let me just double check real quick. Oh, I got a whole bunch to ship to you already, so I'm not going to charge you any extra for shipping. It's 29 bucks on that, Carter. Yeah, I made money on the, the Mega Boxes, but what I could have sold them on eBay for, I, I gave them to you guys probably... Ten fifteen dollars a box cheaper. I mean, I could have sold them on eBay or a number of different sites for upwards of sixty five to seventy five bucks. I don't know why, and I gave a ton of you guys a, a deal on those. Silent got his cheap. 
Corey got some deals last night. Yeah, yeah, you got to figure in the shipping. I try and make it cheap. I mean, like with Carter right there, he bought a bunch of singles, but I got a stack of cards to already ship to him. I'm not going to charge him extra. So... Yeah. Okay. Well, if you guys give me just a few minutes, I'm going to take a quick little break. We're about an hour and a half in. Um, I'll bust open one of the Fairfield boxes for myself, and um, we'll do a tiny bit of trivia. Let's see, Mike, you are... You're up. Four, seven, nine dollars, Mike. Nine dollars, and I believe I got stuff for you, too. Yep, I already got stuff headed your way, Mike, so no extra shipping on there. Yeah. Okay, thanks for that, Carter. I'd, I've had to defend myself a little bit on the pricing of that. 50 was cheap. 50 was was pretty cheap. So I'll tell you guys where I get my prices for most of the time. I go to blowoutcards.com. I look at their price. I try and come down a notch. So Blowout Cards is one of the best sites that you can get stuff on. They had theirs for 55 bucks. I put mine at 50 Steel City Collectibles was at $70. Um, there's a lot of them on eBay in the $60 to $65 range. So try to be fair. What do you guys pay for mosaics when you buy them? And why is a, a Bowman Hobby Box 325 bucks? So, I mean, I know for a fact that the LCS owners are not paying anywhere close to $325 for a Hobby Box of Bowman. Um, because I can go to a different LCS and get it for $275. And I I know pretty much what they're charging. They're charging about one fifty five to one seventy five um, through distribution channels for that same exact hobby box. So you know we all make money down the line. In the end, it's just cardboard and ink. How much does that really cost? So okay, TLM, are you still here? We're going to tear up another card because I need a little bit of a stress reliever here. I might go through this back quickly tonight. We're just going to pick a random one out of here. That looks good. Yep. Blake Snell Big League. Let's see what I can do with this. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Paper airplane. Oh my God, I'll do that with another one. No problem, Carter. No problem at all. I got kids too, I get it. Uh, you owe $29. I got a stack of cards for you over here, so I don't I don't need any extra shipping for that. They'll all ship for the same price. So just $29. Blake Snell triple play. Ah, oh, no problem, dude. I'm just using one of your stress relievers. I got a big old smile on my face. <laughs> I don't know how else I can tear this without it becoming one a whole bunch of pieces. Oh, are there chromes in there? <laughs> My God, I'll get out the scissors if I have to. I might burn a couple too. Might burn a couple too. Oh, yeah, we're good, Alex. This definitely relieved my stress. I felt good. I hope he opts out. Love, they would love that sent to them. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. I will make a I'll make a little pile. Very nice. Thank you very much, Carter. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. I'm going to crack one of these open, show you the packs, take a break, come back and do some trivia, and give away cards out of here. We got a little Eddie Rosario. There's that one. <laughs> Uh, we got Joey Votto. Joey Votto is not Canadian or white anymore. That is strange. Okay, in here we got some Topps Chrome 2019 Update, 2019 Heritage, 19 Ginter, 2 Series 1 Packs. It's exactly the same as the last one I had. Two Babe Ruths and a 1990 Donruss. That will be trivia time here. Give me five to seven minutes. Don't go nowhere and we'll do some uh, trivia really quick. After a chilly start, it will be mostly dry on Thursday with some sunny spells. However, it may be rather cloudy in the southeast. Patchy rain will arrive in the north later in the day. On FM, on long wave, on digital radio and online, this is BBC Radio 4. It's 10 o'clock. Good evening. This is The World Tonight with Rutala Shah. Ed Miliband ruled out a coalition with the Scottish Nationalists if there's a hung parliament. with sunny periods. However, there may be more cloud in the southeast where it will be breezier. After a chilly start, it will be mostly dry on Thursday with some sunny spells. However, it may be rather cloudy in the southeast. Patchy rain will arrive in the north later in the day.
on FM, on long wave, on digital radio and online. This is BBC Radio 4. It's 10 o'clock. Good evening. This is The World Tonight with Rita Lashar. Ed Miliband ruled out a coalition with the Scottish Nationalists if there's a hung parliament. And we back. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think those Babe Ruth backs are worth opening. Or worth anything. Let's tear one open for the hell of it. Who knows? Oh, Babe in his swimsuit. The Babe getting in shape. That's a good looking picture. Yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of Babe Ruth, not bad. Prepares in the outfield at the Polo Grounds. Belts another batting practice home run. I know, I, I know, but I had a better year than Hoover. Do you guys know why he answered that, that question that way? It's because they were saying that at the time he made more than the president. They're questioning whether that was right or not. Okay, y'all ready for some trivia? Let's get some trivia going. Okay. So we will open this Chrome pack first. These will be the first trivia giveaways. Thank you guys for breaking the uh, 19 Heritage Minor League. Hopefully someday soon we can break that 19 Donruss up there. That would be really nice. A Keston Rookie Auto. That would be awesome. Okay. Hey, it's a good pack. Good pack. First up, Chris Paddock, rookie debut. And the question is, only four players have won the home run title in both the American and National Leagues. First was Buck Freeman in 1899 and 1903, and then Sam Crawford in uh, 1901 and 1908. The other two have happened since 1980. Name them. Name one of them. So name one of the two players to lead the both the American League and National League in home runs since 1980. That was a long question. No guesses. There we go. Clay got it with Mark McGuire. I thought that was a pretty easy one. A's and Cardinals. Hey, how's it going, Cornette? Thanks for stopping by. We're doing a little bit of trivia, giving away some cards. Okay. I know I've asked this one before. It's a softball, but I'll ask it again. So I need the player's name and the team that he played for. Who was the first black player in the American League? For a Gary Sanchez Chrome All-Star Game. Who was the first black player in the American League? I need the name and the team. Okay, Eric got it. It was Larry Doby with Cleveland. Like I said, total softball. Don't all have to be difficult. Okay, staying on 
the topic of integration for uh, Alex Bregman, Chrome All-Star Game. What was the last team to field a black player? The last major league team to field a black player. Alex got it. It was the Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox in 1959. Okay, last card's a nice one. Not last card, last card of this pack. Um, well, that'd be a hard question. Okay, name one of two players to hit 50 home runs and steal 50 bases. In different seasons, of course. We've never had a 50-50, but two players have done it in separate seasons. Name one of them. Nope, not Bell, not Griffey. There we go. Eric got it. It's Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds and Brady Anderson. Brady Anderson. Severely juiced up when he hit 50 home runs. Okay. Let's open the Allen and Ginter. Those are fun. Those are always fun. Okay, I'm not going to waste our time with these. If somebody wants it, tell me. It's a surfer, a skateboarder, whatever. Also not going to waste my time with horses. Okay, here's a good one for a sunny gray. In 1968... Both pitchers who won the Cy Young Award also won the MVP Award. Name both of them. Name both of the pitchers who won both the Cy Young and the MVP Award in 1968. Uh, damn. <laughs> Nope, 1968, the year of the pitcher, right before they lowered the mound. Gibson is correct. Who's the second one? Gibson and who? Think American League. There we go. Alex got it with Denny McLean. Okay, we have Cody Allen Mini, Nolan Ryan, right? Okay, for the Cody Allen Mini, name one of the three relievers who have won the Cy Young and the MVP award in the same season. One of the three relievers. There we go, Eric got it. Raleigh Fingers, Willie Hernandez for the 84 Tigers, and Eck, Dennis Eckersley in 92. Okay, actually, Raleigh Fingers did it with the Brewers in 81. Okay, staying on the same subject for a Carlton Fisk, Allen, and Ginter. Name the last pitcher in either league to win both the Cy Young and the MVP award. The last pitcher to do it. The 
the last peach pitcher in either league to win the Cy Young and the MVP in the same season. Celtic Pride got it right. It was Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw in 2014. Okay, and for the last Allen and Ginter card, A.J. Burnett, who is the first pitcher to win the Cy Young and the MVP award? And it was before Bob Gibson. Sure, I'll do that, Carter. That's not a problem. Yep, Eric got it right. It was Sandy Koufax in 1956. Okay. Yeah, you want to PayPal that over. I'll open both of those. No problem. 35 is a good deal. Yep. Okay. While he is doing that, we'll open up the Heritage Pack. That's pretty. I don't even know what they could, is that a, I don't know. Okay. We'll do this right now while we're waiting for uh, Carter. We got, a, is it a purple chrome? It doesn't look purple, but it doesn't look white or whatever. Anyhow, we got a, strong, a chrome Starling Marte. Chrome Starling Marte. Uh, let's see. Here's a good question. Yeah, it, it might have been. Might have been from a hot box pack. Name the Hall of Fame pitcher who won the most games for a last place team. Awesome. Thank you, Carter. Name the Hall of Fame pitcher who won the most games for a last place team. Eric got it again. It's Steve Carlton won 27 games. 27 games for a last place Phillies team. Okay. Give me one second here. <clears throat> yeah, anytime that I get money in PayPal, I get it out of there because PayPal is... BS. They try and hold all my money all the time. So, I want to do that before they decide to hold it. Okay, let me see what else is in here. Any other good cards? Not really. It's a bunch of base stuff. Just trying to find another good hit before we open up these hanger boxes for Carter. Let's go ahead and get to that really quick. We can get back to trivia in a little bit if you guys want to. How do I get it out of PayPal? I send it to my bank. PayPal does not work well. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It's okay to suck at trivia. Who was the A's player? Oh. Oh, that one is Reggie. Old Reggie. Yeah, you can transfer PayPal money to a bank. Instantly, in fact. Normally, they charge you like a 1% fee. It's like 100 bucks. you'll pay a buck. Which is fine with me. Hey, not too shabby. Too bad it's not a yellow. Uh, but right now, they're waiving all those transfer fees, which is great for me. Thank you very much, Mike. I do appreciate that. Okay, got a Bo Bichette right on the front for you. 
Now we'll sleeve up the hits for you, Carter. Bo Bichette. We got Gray, Tatis Jr., Anderson, Machado. Oh, very nice. Appreciate that, dude. That'll be a good one. We got Chapman, Vlad Guerrero Jr. This is a good pack. I'm feeling good about those yellows, man. I'm feeling really good about those yellows. On top of that, the inserts on these are crazy. Most of them have at least a numbered card. Um, and sometimes another gold. Um, I got a Pete Alonzo Chrome Turkey Red out of one. The inserts are pretty crazy on these. Talon. Got Miller. Bunch of team cards. Mengden. Wheeler. Okay, we got a Bryce Harper then and now. We're starting to get to him right now. Here we go. Chris Davis. Alex Young. We got Lewis Thorpe. Mitch Garver. Lewis Brinson. And Marco Gonzalez. So none of the big yellow ones. I have seen just absolutely random yellow ones going for like two, three, four bucks. Uh, I'm guessing people are completing sets, looking for rainbows and stuff like that. We got the Pirates in Ozzy Albies 1985. Got our favorite dude right there, Blake Snell. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. A Gavin Lux. Turkey Red. Maybe we'll just go ahead and sleeve that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, Garver was the best out of those. That was strange. We've got a Gavin Lux Turkey Red. We got Baez. I can add him to the pack up there, dude. We have the Stress Relief pack up there. If you want. TLM sent me a whole pack of Blake Snells. Awesome. I don't know how I'm going to get through that obsidian I showed the other night. That's a thick one. We got Devers and Real Muto. Real. Hoping for a short print in the back end of these or a couple, couple big rookies. Still hit a Gavin Lux. Uh, base rookie. You know, Jordan Alvarez. Some decent stuff. Gonna, gonna gonna kind of fly through the chaff. Peralta, Luke Voigt, Mike Trout, Mike Trout, Woodruff, Nelly Cruz, Yohan Mancada, Reyes, and David Dahl. So nothing else in there. Not the worst box. Not the best, man. Decent cards. Like I said, you might find some value in the yellows, even the, the lower end ones. Just because they're relatively hard to find. In fact, I've never actually seen the yellows opened anywhere before. Or even really for sale. Okay. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. We got the same collation here. We got Sanchez, Cunha Jr., Marte, Paddock. Man, I'm really hoping you get a big hit on, on one of these yellows. Some of those prices are just stupid, but if people are willing to pay it. Why not? Manny being Manny, yep. We got some of the same portrait cards. We got a foil coming up too. Looks like maybe even a turkey red chrome. Starling Marte. That's not bad. A Soto chrome turkey red. That's pretty nice right there. 
Here we go. Bryce Harper yellow. That should be good. That should definitely be good for you. And Austin Barnes. Matt Barnes. Jeremy Jeffress. A Dubon rookie card. And big hair, big hair. Okay. Uh, Harper's not bad. I'd be willing to bet. That's probably just by looking at the prices earlier. Maybe like eight to ten bucks. We got George Springer. We got an Arenado. Castillo. Marcakis and Marte Turkey Red. So those were underwhelming. Nice, I'm glad you like that soda. That's a that's a good looking one too. Okay, let's zip through here. That looks strange. I don't know if I've actually seen that Granky card out of all the 2020 series one I've opened. Eight dollars on Harper. Yeah, that makes sense. Alonzo League leaders. Ken Giles. Glass now. Same stuff back here too. That's weird. That's one of my favorite looking cards right there. Love that Yachty. Love Yachty, period. First ballot Hall of Famer. And Springer is the last one. Okay. <clears throat> Which ones do you want out of there, Car Carter? Do you want the 85 Springer? Any of the other ones here? Definitely send you all the yellows. Soto. Do you want the trout? Soto and the yellows. Awesome, dude. Thank you very much. We will throw all of those into giveaways. So I got a question for you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Kind of an idea me and Denise were floating around. Um, you guys have probably seen the, where, um, or the like repacks, people do like 10, 20 cards, put a, a hit in there, do whatever, um, sell them online. What do you guys think of doing team specific ones? Like a team bag of like 25 cards with a team specific hit. So like for the Cubs, you know that you have a chance at like Bryant, Rizzo, um, Baez, guys like that. What do you guys think about something like that? Not team sets, completely random team cards. So you might get some base stuff, you might get some inserts, uh, but you would definitely get cards that were worth whatever was charged. I don't even know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm kind of thinking of putting together, you know, 30 of those and Seeing what you guys think. I mean, I'd buy a Tigers one, personally. Let me get these cards over here. Man. Just gotta get those put away. Hey, how's it going, TJ? Yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm even just talking about, about on the stream, like five bucks for 25 cards and like there's $5 worth of hits in there and the rest is just whatever. Kind of just what I was thinking there. Because we got a lot of cards and I know a lot of you guys collect teams and I wanted to make it affordable enough for like kids and whatnot to be able to jump on there spend five bucks and get some some decent stuff get their like really get their value out of them I've seen some of those online where they uh you know you spend like 10 15 bucks 
They're like, it, there's a Hall of Fame hit in there. And it's like 1979 ERA League leader Steve Carlton. It's like, that's a, like, that's like a dollar card. And I paid $15 for that and some other junk. I don't always feel like they're on the up and up. So something that was really worth that kind of money. And my other thought was like, hide a really good card in like two of them. Like for instance, like a Tatis Jr. rookie card. I won't use that one since I'm saying it, but like as an example, like if I said like there is a $20 card in one of these $5 packs. So, right, if it was a 57, that's fine. But yeah, no, I mean, I, I got one of those and I felt ripped off by it, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't feel good about it. I didn't feel like it was something that I, I wanted. Put it upside down, yeah. Okay, so let's do some trivia. We're going to go through some of these cards that Carter just graciously donated for trivia. Make chase packs. Okay. I mean, we kind of thought about that too. Kind of thought about the, the same kind of thing. Like, putting some big rookie cards in there. Along with some other stuff. And, you know, make sure... Like, like I said, I really want to make sure that you get your value out of the pack. No matter what the price is. Like, if I say it's 10 bucks, I'm going to put $10 worth of value by eBay sold into that pack. Um... And then, you know, have maybe a $20, $30 card hiding in one of them or two of them or something. Oh, just the thought we're kicking around trying to, trying to come up with something good. Absolutely. Let me know. Let me know, Eric. I'll get those over to you. Player specific? That would be tough. I could do it, but... There'd be a lot of repeats, I think. Well, it wouldn't be tough. I don't know. Okay. Let's get back to some trivia. Um, I got probably about another 20 minutes here, and then I got spaghetti ready for me. So I'm going to get out of here in about 15 minutes or so. But definitely want to get through these cards that, that Carter generously donated for it. Yeah, I'll put together a Riley Green pack. Okay. Trying to find a good question here. Okay. This is a good one. For the Ozzy Albies, 1985. Two switch hitters share the career record for most games with a home run from both sides of the plate. With 14 of them. Name one of them. Two switch hitters who share the career record for most games with the home run from both sides of the plate at 14. Name one of them. It is not Eddie Murray or Mickey Mantle, surprisingly. Betty Spaghetti. We just watched that the other day. We love a league of their own. We love all those old baseball movies. Uh, let's see. Okay. Clay got it first with Nick Swisher. And Alex M came in second with Teixeira. So I'm going to give an Albies to uh, to Clay. And then I'm going to give the Vlad to Alex M for coming in a very close second. Okay. Yeah, no, I got that, Alex. I got that. Yeah, Swisher and Mark Teixeira. Swisher was a good player. He was a bum, but he was a good player. That's why he stuck around for, what, 14, 15 years, something like that? Oh, I've never had a problem separating personal conduct from on-field conduct. Unless it's you-know-who. Okay, for the Tatis Jr., he was a good bum. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right, Carter. I see that. That that's kind of what I'm thinking is like really get like a damn good card to put in there. Make like 30 of them so the odds are good but not outsized. It's not like 1 in 5. It's like 1 in 30, but it's not like 1 in 500 or something. So, and yeah, Cornette, I've seen boxes that were packed with just junk. Um yeah. And they still just charge tons of money from it. You can find them all over eBay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is this is a crazy question. Follow me down the rabbit hole here. And, okay. Okay. Will Sheffield the switch here? Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to read this. A total of 13 players have won... MVP awards in consecutive seasons. Okay. Of those, 11 have appeared on the Hall of Fame ballot. Two of them are still active. Okay. Only three of the 11 who have been on the ballot are not in the Hall of Fame. So we're looking for not Hall of Famers, non Hall of Famers. Name either of the two players. Or I'm sorry, either of the three players. Who are not in the Hall of Fame and who have done this? Crazy question. Sorry. It seemed easier. Oh, Cornette, Cornette got it. It's Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. So Tatis Jr. will go to Cornette. For Mike Trout, can anybody tell me who either of the other two are? Won back to back MVP awards and are not in the Hall of Fame. Let's see. Nope, no clue, no clue, no so not Sosa, not Clemens. Okay, think about it. Back to back MVPs. I'll tell you one was the MVP in nineteen sixty one in the American League. The other was the MVP in the National League in nineteen eighty two. There we go. Celtic Pride got it with Roger Maris. It was Roger Maris and Dale Murphy. Roger Maris and Dale Murphy. Okay. Dave Parker's a good guess. Dave Parker's a damn good guess. People forget how good he was. Well, yeah, I mean, he was a one-hit wonder, supposedly. Well, not a one-hit wonder, 61-hit wonder. But he won the MVP in 1960 also. He did win back-to-back. -back. So I'm not sure. Um, okay. This might throw you guys off a little bit. I think a lot of people know... The answer, or think they know the answer, but let's try it out. For the Beau Bichette. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me read all of this just to make sure there's not any crazy shit. Okay. 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 For the Beau Bichette, who was the last player to win an MVP on a losing team? The last player to hit an MVP or to win the MVP on a losing team for Beau Bichette. Damn, you're on top of that. Celtic got it with Mike Stanton. I didn't think anybody would get that. I really didn't. Absolutely on top of that, though. Okay. Let me write that down. Awesome. Well, 
guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, go eat some spaghetti. Um, hang out with the family. It's still only 7.30 at night, so i got plenty of time just to hang out and have a good time. Had a great time hanging out with you guys. Uh, thanks for getting into that Heritage Minor League. Um, hopefully sometime later this week we can get into that 2019 Donruss. And I'll kind of look into doing some different packs and let you guys know what I'm thinking. If you have any ideas, um, shoot me a private message on Discord. Um, love to discuss that with any of you guys. If you're not on Discord, you should definitely get into the YouTube Breaks Discord. We have a good time over there. Um, but yeah, get a hold of me. Absolutely happy Father's Day to you too, TJ. Have you guys gotten the package yet? Have you and Hunter gotten the package? No, my finger was over it. It's there. Yeah, that's right where I hold it. Um, let's see, real quick. Let's do some bookkeeping really quick. Uh, Clay, are you still out there? I haven't seen you talk for a little bit. Oh, yep, you're right up there, actually. Uh, let's see. We were just at 15 for that Robert Orange. Robert, no, no. Um, I don't think Steven's out there anymore. I'll get a hold of him. Mike Heath, you were at... I already read you off your, your stuff. Okay. I think that's everybody there. Ah... Uh, yeah, TJ, let me know when uh, you and Hunter get that package. I'd love to hear what Hunter thinks of what I packed in there for him. Yep, any of you guys here are fathers, happy Father's Day. Um, I clearly will not be on tomorrow. I'm going to hang out with the family, go swimming. Then I actually have to work at a drive-in movie tomorrow night. Um, but come, come hang out with me in Discord. I'll be there. Um, don't really care to watch the movie. So in between, I'll be chatting a lot. Um, send me any ideas you guys have about team packs or chase packs or anything else. Um, and then if you're interested, go get some of that 2019 Donruss. Maybe like Thursday night. We could break that or something. So, Hey, how's it going, Johnny? Thanks for popping in. Yep, you guys all have a great night. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy your dinners and whatever else you guys are doing.